Hi, I'm Mark Willis. I'm the CEO for a core for Middle East, Africa, India and Turkey. Okay, well, good afternoon, Mark. And a real pleasure to see you today. Okay. We're here at uh, AHIC 2021. It's great to be back in person uh, here in Dubai. Um, how would you describe the mood uh, among hotel investors uh, here in the Middle East and uh, across the region? First of all, it's great to be back in person. That's the first thing. Uh, Teams is wonderful, but uh, definitely this is the way to do business. Super to see everybody here. I think there's a really good turnout for the conference. And I can see even from just being here this morning, the mood is extremely positive. A lot of people want to talk, they want to sit, they want to discuss. Um, and a lot of positive vibes coming out from the event, which is just great to see. Obviously, it's been a challenging 18-month period for hospitality, but there have been opportunities too. Um, you've opened a number of properties here in Dubai uh, with a focus on luxury. I know we're very excited about the raffles uh, out there on the palm. Sure, the raffle's going to be an amazing property. I was there yesterday. Uh, all coming together. It has a very soft opening on the 22nd and formally it'll open on the 1st of October. Um, it's an amazing, amazing hotel, close to 400 rooms, amazing facilities. And you're right, it's been a very poor 18 months for the hospitality sector, but there has been some bright uh, moments also. Uh, and we've continued to open hotels um, in a positive manner, I have to say. Is it fair to say um, for companies that are willing to move, there were opportunities? You know, obviously there's been you know, as we said, a challenging period. But if you're in a flexible, ready to move, could you have taken opportunity of the last year? Absolutely, and I think you know we are, we were we were just as aggressive as we would have been in a in a in a more normal and stabilised market. We still chase deals. We still took, look to grow. Um, for luck, from an accord perspective, we have a fabulous portfolio of brands across some of the key segments, of course, uh, where we see a lot of growth, not least in luxury uh, and and also across in the leisure segment. And lifestyle as well, um, a new property here? Yeah, I mustn't forget lifestyle. Uh, SLS opened um, fantastically well. And of course, business has been subdued. But um, if you look at the opening of SLS and the way that it's been perceived by the city and indeed international travelers that are coming into Dubai, it's just amazing, amazing. It's exceeded everybody's expectation, I must say. I'm staying with Dubai Expo 2020. It's been a long road to get here, but there's yeah. been been a lot of Too money. Long. Too long. <laughs> there's been a lot of money got into that, a lot of investment, and it's um, it's really bringing a new highlight to, to the Middle East. You know, as always, Dubai tourism just fabulous in what they do from a PR and marketing uh, communication perspective. They've been fully supportive, worked hand in hand with all the key brands, not just a core, of course. Um, great to see the expo coming to fruition. I was just talking about uh, expo with, uh, with our head office in Paris. Um, numbers look very positive. Um, initial numbers look good. Um, meeting and events for the event look good already. You know, the request for meeting rooms and meeting space is very positive to see. And it's going to be an amazing six months, of course, as always with Dubai. They don't do anything by half. It'll be fabulous. Wait and see. Okay. And some headlines this morning as well. Uh, Djibouti uh, taking a new yeah. brand in there. Perhaps a destination not a lot of people know a lot about. Um, what can you tell us that? Wonderful to see. Um, first Fairmont coming into the country. We have other uh, projects on the table for Djibouti. It's a great location, by the way. Uh, and again, a relatively new location, but it's wonderful. Fabulous beaches. Um, yeah, and we look forward to the first Fairmont opening up in 2024. Okay, there's plenty going on. It's good to hear some good news finally. Thank good. you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.